Howdy everyone, we're just still getting started with this subsurface machine learning course. And now for lecture two, we need to cover probability, probability concepts, statistics, and so forth. They really are prerequisite to what we want to do with machine learning. And so how do we motivate that? How do we justify that? Well, first and foremost, if we're talking about working as a data scientist, building data-derived or data-driven models, we're talking about a combination of domain expertise, the geoscience and the engineering, and we talked about that during lecture one. We covered that first because that's core to everything we do, the science and the engineering. Then we need to use robust application of statistics, and I always say Geostatistics, because we're dealing with a spatial context, and geostats specifically addresses statistics in a spatial context. It does a nice job with that. Of course, some would argue that there's geostats, there's spatial stats, there's spatial point processes, and so forth. I'm cool with that. I'm very flexible. I don't get too concerned about that. But I'd say that we want to know about the fundamental statistics and probability to be able to do a reasonable job with building models, machine learning based models. Now of course there will be the coding, and scripting, and we'll get into the next few lectures there will be some support for learning fundamental Python in order to get that under your belt. So why once again cover probability and statistics for machine learning? I would argue, as many do, that machine learning is statistical learning. It's a data-driven approach, is using some form of analysis summarization of data in order to support decision-making, to build models to support decision-making. That, in fact, is a statistical practice or application. Machine learning methods, if you look at them, they're really making predictions, or I could say inferences more broadly, based on a set of sample data. Now, they'll talk about training data and so forth, but they are concerned with the idea of pooling samples for the purpose of supporting their modeling efforts. That's a statistical operation right there. In addition, they're concerned with formulating statistical summarizations, statistics from their samples. These then become model parameters in their predictive and inferential models. And so that again is a statistical practice. Probability models are cooked into actually quite explicitly into many methodologies such as naive Bayes where you have a prior you'll work with conditionals you'll formulate a posture and you'll make a decision for say a classification problem based on maximum a posture estimation picking the category that has the greatest probability all of that are operations involving probability that's all statistics. And so what I'd argue is that machine learning, once again, is statistical learning. And I would suggest that if I was to ever teach machine learning, like I am now, that I would first want to start with a foundation of probability and statistics. Now, all right, so what are we going to do about that? Well, first of all, let's just recognize that probability is fundamental to everything that we do in adding value in the subsurface. We use probability as a fundamental tool because the subsurface is uncertain, and we need to make decisions in the face of that uncertainty. For example, if we are able to assess the probability that a well will be successful, it could be water, it could be an oil well, a gas well, that has economic flow rates that are sustainable, you'll, may, you'll use that probability to determine whether or not you should drill the well. Or if you're above the surface and you're working with a valve that may be potentially cracked and you have some type of a detection method that has uncertainty, you could use the probability from that detection method in order to assess whether or not you should replace the valve. Probability, a seismic survey will find a reservoir any type of reservoir or any type of resource in the subsurface, that can be used for value of information decision analysis to determine whether or not to acquire the seismic if its cost is offset by its value. Most of our decisions within the subsurface, they're going to involve uncertainty because the subsurface is vast, sparsely sampled, and heterogeneous. 
by quantifying probability, which is the language of uncertainty, we can make better decisions. Now, what I realized getting ready for this course was that I already had recorded lectures on many of the topics that I consider prerequisite and essential for this class as we carry on together. I have a lecture on frequentist probability, a lot of Venn diagrams, fundamental, kind of the algebra of probability, additive rule, multiplication rule, so forth, conditional probability, marginals, joints, and so forth. I also have a lecture on Bayesian probability into the class of problems that are very difficult to address, which is frequentist approaches. Sometimes we need to move beyond just counting and incorporate our state of belief and then updating with new information. Get into, I have a lecture on fundamental statistics, univariate statistics, very straightforward, and another lecture on univariate distributions, gets into a variety of parametric distributions, how they're used, why we have to assume them, and so forth, and I think distribution transformations. So if you go to my YouTube channel, Geostats Guy Lectures, you can go to Introduction to Geostatistics, Data Analytics, and Machine Learning, and you'll find that somewhere around, I think, Lecture 2, A, B, and so forth, you will find all of these videos available to you addressing all of these topics. So I'll ask you to go back and review those. What I'll do with my next lecture is I will address fundamental Python, specifically the very basics that we need in order to build workflows, working with NumPy, working with Pandas, and Scikit-Learn. All right. I hope this was helpful to you. As always, I'm um, open to any feedback or any ideas. I'm Michael Perch. I'm a professor at the University of Texas at Austin. I work in geostatistics, data analytics, and machine learning. Just kicked off a successful consortium. That's exciting. Got a lot of great partners from industry to work with. We're excited to get started with you. If anybody wants to hear about the consortium, I also kicked off a startup group and Datum, a startup company on data science education. And we're currently booking and getting classes organized through that. If you want to hear about Datum, just fire me uh, an email. I'll be happy to discuss anytime. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Take care.